Hello everyone, it's been a very busy weekend as usual. We had a lot of weather snaps and I've been under the weather, but I am back now and I've got another video for you. This one will be uploaded, you'll see this today, Sunday, Sunday, April 15th, and then another one will be posted tomorrow and that will be BFL episode 4. So for today's video, I wanted to take at least Phalaenopsis and do a plant spotlight. I haven't done one in a while because I've had a lot of other things and then things that weren't ready for a spotlight. So this is a Phalaenopsis cross, Brother Sarah Gold, crossed on Sogo Berry. And I, I had this one for about three years now, and it was a rescue that I bought that wasn't in the best shape. And it's finally decided to bloom for me, and it looks like it's definitely wanting to take after the... Brother Sarah Gold parent in regards to flowering habit, but the, the coloration is interesting. This one just opened. I'm trying to see if I can get it in focus. Doesn't want to. Let me get a little creative with it here, actually. So let me put this up here. You're seeing, you're seeing basically what I do to prepare for a video, but during a video, because I didn't expect this to be so bad on the color. There you go, that's much better. So you can see the coloration on it. This one's got a little bit of a, a little bit of a difference between the petals because this one, when it opened, that petal got ripped a little bit somehow. But it's got this weird, it's got a weird fragrance. When the flowers first open, they kind of have this like this very light like cantaloupe melony scent. It's, it's light because I think the Brother Sarah Gold scent is being like broken down a little bit by crossing with Sogo Berry, which I assume is, some, is scentless by the result of this cross. And so it's not as strong as it would be normally. But I can smell like this light melony fragrance as they open, and then as the flower ages and the scent ages, it kind of to me it smells like corn tortillas with a little bit of sugar on top. It's just weird kind of. Don't smell any right now, but it's also late in the day. It's six o'clock at the time of this video being recorded, six p.m. But it's it doesn't have the largest spike, but it's also Brother Sarah Gold doesn't bloom a lot of flowers at one time, so I think that's where the flower count comes from. There's five, and you can see it's backlit right there. But the flowers are nice, nice shape, nice appearance. I love them, and the plants look. The plant looks pretty good. It, it's it's I, I grow it off to the side like that because I, I grow a lot of my flowers that way. And so you can see, it's not still not the largest plant, but it was ready to bloom for me for the first time. And so I was super excited about that. So this one goes with the rest of the Phalaenopsis in bright shade. It gets watered when the media begins to dry out. Because it's, they have very thick roots, and that tells you that they don't want they want to dry out a little bit between waterings. Uh, this one is is it's fertilized about the same rate, same rate as the others, where it's like, it's like once a week or so, lightly. And so it it's been do it's been doing very well since I since I got it and it, since it's finally bloomed for me I was super excited to see what it looked like and was not expecting this to be entirely honest I I, I brother Sarah gold is like an orangey color but this one's got this pinkish color with all these spots and the spots are really well placed and the color is nice and rich in in person and on camera it looks a little bit washed out and the scent is is pretty interesting so I'm really happy about that. We got one more bud on the way. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Not really. And then the, I, I'm going to leave the spike intact. I don't normally, but I figured I'd give it a shot because it's brother Sarah Gold can tends to rebloom off the spikes very very quickly. It's like sequential blooming to a degree. So I'm 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 going to see if that if this one wants to react the same way. It's got a decent root system, although you can't make much of it out because even though it's got a decent root system, a lot of it's kind of like in the pot somewhere. Like there's a nice big root coming down there. And it's got a tangle of roots up here with some little root stubs that kind of, oops, you get it out of the light glare. Come on, light glare, or the um, root stubs that kind of grew a little bit and stopped, but they're healthy, the plant's healthy, it's been growing just fine. So this spike will be interesting to watch and see as it evolves. There's a hair stuck to it, a cat hair. And so I'm super excited about this one, and I love it, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping it can make it into May, because my orchid show is in May at my annual orchid show and so I want to put bring this one to show and so I'm hoping it's still open by then because that's about the, the only other thing that I can think of that that hopefully will be would be ready by then is my new Phoenicia falcata which I might as well show it's not, I'm not going to spotlight it but I'm going to at least show it it's got a spike on it right there looking pretty good 
And then I'm hoping that other one right there is starting to grow finally because this one was looking the same exact way as that one is picking the in the leaves right there for like a year and then this one started growing as I'm hoping this one starts too. Because that would be great because one spike just isn't enough although the flowers can be wonderfully fragrant so I'm super excited for that. But yeah, this is what we wound up with and I am not at all upset. See if I can get it to f zoom in on it pretty well. Yeah, look at that, that spotting. It's just, it's super nice, super super clean looking. And the scent is really interesting. I'm, I'm interested to see if it continues to change because corn tortillas with sugar is an interesting fragrance. But yeah, that's, that's all for this video. Keep a lookout for tomorrow because I will be posting again. And then next video will be Wednesday. I do not know what I will do Wednesday, but I know tomorrow will be a BFL series video. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.